even till now. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We appreciate you. Thank you for Johnny Messies. Thank you for answer prayer. Thank you for all that you have done today. Thank you for keeping us, keeping our loved ones, keeping your church, keeping our land. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we give thanks. Quickly, we'll take one or two prayer points, then we'll go into our study. The prayer is simple. The prayer we have been praying for a while. To cry to God and say, Father, please, every enemy of Nigeria that refuse to repent, let them be consumed by fire. Now we don't need to pray. Every single enemy of Nigeria, I refuse to repent, Lord. Let them be consumed by fire. We've had enough. Enough is enough. Every single enemy of Nigeria, they refuse to repent and then be consumed by fire. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Every single enemy of Nigeria that refuse to repent, let be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire, Lord. And every single one of them be consumed by fire. Every enemy against our natural resources, enemies against our political structures, enemies against our educational system, enemies against our soul, enemies against the church of God, enemies against our lives. As long as they refuse to repent, Lord, let them be consumed by fire. Let them be consumed by fire. Lord, we call upon you every single enemies of Nigeria. They refuse to repent. Let them be consumed by fire. Lord, we leave this country unto your hand. Deliver Nigeria from bondage. Deliver Nigeria from bondage. Deliver us completely from bondage. Deliver this land, deliver the people of this land from bondage. Into every darkness of this country, let light come. Let light come. Let light come. Into every darkness of this country, let light come. Let light come. We speak the light of God into every darkness of this country. Let light come. Let light come. Let Nigeria be delivered from bondage. Let Nigerians be delivered from bondage. Let light come. Let your light come. Jesus' name we pray. As I pray, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Father, we want to thank you for your word. As you go into your word, Lord, we pray you speak to us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. I welcome in Jesus' name. Let's have our seat. Wow, God is good all the time. another beautiful day in the presence of God. I hope the rain didn't disturb us so much. It's a blessing to have the rain, so let's enjoy it now. In a wonderful one. At least now we, we don't care whether they bring light or not. We, we sleep well. In the, the night now, you sleep well. It's no, no eat. There's no need to put on gen in the night. God will help us in Jesus' name. God will redeem this country. God will redeem this country. It's, uh, I'm not an old man. I'm a young boy. 
And uh, ah, God will redeem this country. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, I can imagine the way. If I'm feeling like this, with the little I've seen, so I can imagine what that they are seen. And uh, God will have mercy. I was telling some people something somewhere. I think we were somewhere outside. And that lady asked, you mean that was happening in this country? In this same country that people will be traveling abroad. You will see them off to the airport. You will enter the plane. You will gist. When it's time for takeoff, they will ask those who are not going to come down. Yes, ma'am. I grew to see that. Nigerian air waste. You follow them, enter inside plane. Everybody will be gisting, gisting, talking, laughing, and when it's time to leave, they, they will make an announcement and bye-bye, bye-bye, and everybody will come down. And those who want to travel, here, here. Because it was a choice to travel. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It wasn't. What, what are you going to look for? To do what? Of course. They come here for medical care. You know what they were calling? Those who are, you, 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 you. The reason why they call two naira was because two naira. So If you, you, when you get to JFK, then they will not start a it. Going to Amen. Eh. Maybe you want to go and study. And immediately they finish schooling. They've packed their bags. To stay there for what? And code. Oh God. <laughs> here, here. See, remember Nigeria and in their ways. The first time I was going to Makhodi was uh, 90 Naira. Of course, and it was true. Our problem was not money. It was how to spend it. What is the problem? Here. Yeah. Go on. It was here, Udoji as Minister of Finance. Look, look, look. They didn't know what to do with the excess money. They now decided to pay workers. Just pay workers one year salary. As dash. That we appreciate you. You have been working. You will not dash you one year salary. And people just started. <laughs> Here, 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 in this country. I always tell people in this Nigerians were not eating geisha. It's Ghanaians who eat geisha. We eat corn beef. Do you have corn beef anywhere again?
repair. Hey, throw it away. Once it's spoiled, throw it away. Ah, go to Kingsway, go to Leventis at the Teco. Even if you don't have money to buy, you will come home with something. Because Father Christmas will give you gift. Serious ones. <laughs> Free of charge. Ah. God will redeem our He will redeem our land. God will redeem our land. It was poverty that brought Tokumbo into Nigeria. Nigerians don't buy brand new used car. How much is a brand new car? How much is a brand new car? Shalake Volkswagen. Volkswagen was 1,500. Once you graduate, they give you a job they give you a Volkswagen and you pay instrumentally. They will go around looking for those who want car loan. Now please take. Here. In this place. Seventies, eighties, eighties. My uncle buy bought uh, a five four five evolution, nineteen eighty five. It was uh, with insurance and everything. It was uh, ten thousand naira and something, brand new, brand new. Brand new. No, but, but once you say you won't want to buy a car, it's brand new. It's brand new. Ah. <laughs> you can't. And do you know the funniest thing that time that I'm talking about? They keep telling us the country has spoiled. That was what our parents were saying. That ah, the country has spoiled. <laughs> you sleep, your door open, you sleep. Just wake up on Saturday morning. Just go to Ebutemeta, Lagos Island. You will get tired of food. And you try the, the day break from one party to another party to another party. The day break. <laughs> no hall, no anything. All party is open space. All party on the road. So as you come, just dress where carry chair, sit down, and they bring everything. <laughs> ah. It is well, oh. Ah. Please call Sister Francesca. Call her. What's happening? Ah. Ah. 
You see all these things? All these things. All these things. Any churches there, not those orthodox churches. They, don't buy. they import them. It's a normal thing. They import them. Because it's cheaper. So anytime any church will want to buy organ, buy anything, no. It's uh, import them. So some of these churches like uh, St. Jude's, a booty mentor. Choir ropes. Choir ropes. I say choir ropes. Oh God. Cassock, everything. It's from vestmen. They import them. Ah. God will redeem our land. I don't even, honestly, I don't know. I don't, it's so. There was a, during Shagari, when things were going bad, though, no bad then. October 1. You can't have October 1 and everybody in the country will not know. There was an helicopter that was flying and they were dropping gifts. They were just throwing it for children ball you know toys branded they just threw it all ran lagos and children were picking here yeah. here yeah. in those days when you go to the university ah uh, once you get there you get a room your job is to come and read once you are going out to the class in the, in the morning, you drop your key, the porter come, clean your room, wash bed sheet, wash your clothes, and iron them and bring them back before you come. In this country. In this country. You, 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 you don't wash clothes. You don't wash clothes. People go in the evening to Unilac to eat food free. Because the student can't finish them. Here. Here. Amen. Oh. God will help us. I remember one day at home, growing up, they took light. It was December 31st. I was afraid. So I came out to check because it was strange that the light went off. It was strange. So now, ah, there was no light everywhere. They said, what happened? And people were coming out to like, what happened? It was transformer that blew. Before I came downstairs the following day, they were fixing it. God. Please cry to God. God, please redeem our land. Redeem our land. Have mercy on us. Deliver us from devourers. Deliver us from devourers. At least for the sake of these young ones. Deliver us from devourers, Lord. Have mercy on us. Redeem our land. In Jesus' name, we pray. Oof. Marital abuse. That one was country abuse. That was country abuse. Do they still pay student bursary again? They don't pay bursary.
Malachi chapter 2. You can see when uh, the re reason why people like daddy, they hardly smile. They will just look at whatever we are doing, they will just shake their head. Amen. Malachi chapter 2, I'm in verse 16. For the Lord, the God of Israel, said that he hated putting away for one covered violent with his garment. That's huge. That means if one is a goat, the, the other should be sheep so that uh, can put water on the hot thing. Okay, sit down. Hey, class has started now. Sit down like you are in school. Say the Lord of hosts, therefore take heed to your spirit that ye did not treacherously. Ye have wearied the Lord with your words, yet ye say, wherein have we wearied him? Everyone that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he deliv delighted in them. Or, where is the God of the judgment? How won't you weary him? I pray Nigeria case will not weary God. God says he hates putting in a way. But you see that if you are not careful, you will have putting in a way. God hates it. But if you don't do what you should do, uh, they'll be putting in a way. You can't be hitting somebody's head on the wall regularly. And you now say, hey, God hates putting in a way. Sit down there. Ah. Sit down there so that uh, the head break. If the head break. So what are we saying? We need to put in place all the things needed so that we will not get to the point of putting away. God will help us in Jesus' name. He said marital abuse, whether or not it involves physical violence, is a one-sided oppressive relationship where one spouse uses unacceptable method to maintain unhealthy control in the house. So it's not really compulsory, it should be a physical can be physical abuse, it can be emotional, it can be psychological. Angel, I'll flog you. Angel, I should bring my cane. That cane that teacher uses in school, I'll bring one. Domestic abuse affects all race, age, gender, or background. So you have abuse in uh, Leki. You have abuse at Ajegugunle. It's not limited to... Ah, oh, okay. God bless you. Don't, don't worry. Be listening. So abuse is not limited to a particular set of people. It's not in the gene of any particular race. It's, it's cut across. It's a... Zachariah 1 verse 9 says, In the same day also we will I punish... All those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's houses with what? Violence and deceit. And that's why that place warns us that uh, Malachi 2 said, we should be careful not to deal treacherously. The major problem we have in our marriage, like we were saying last week, is we don't understand that marriage is partnership. We don't partnership and for those who did law I did small law of partnership small once any partner dies or withdraw what happened? the partnership stand dissolved 
So for the partnership to continue, the two people must be what? And every, nothing must be hidden. Nothing. No decision must be taken without the consent of the other partner. And you know one silly thing about partner, partnership? Let's assume uh, Sister Lady here and I, we are in partnership. And I travel somewhere she, she didn't know. And I take a decision on behalf of the partnership. She didn't know. If that thing goes wrong, she becomes liable. I didn't know it's not an excuse. That's how serious partnership is. You can't come in partnership and say, ah, I was not there when he took the decision. No. Everybody in the partnership becomes liable. And that's why in partnership, nothing must be hidden to the other partner. Because once something goes wrong, everybody becomes liable. And once we understand marriage from that point of view, we have less stress. But our major problem is we deal treacherously. We always deal treacherously. God will help us in Jesus' name. He says, abuse in its different manifestations is the most destructive tools that can be used by anyone against another. So today we are looking at it and we are looking at two, verbal and physical abuse. F physical abuse is common. We all know that one. Torturing of body spouse to what? To subdue and control the partner. And it's becoming a serious case. There was one that happened at Akute last week. I don't know how many of us heard about it. The man always beat the wife, beat the wife, beat until she could no longer take it. So she moved somewhere to rest. And the man started telling him, telling him, I mean, telling her, telling her, until she went and set the woman on fire. And the woman, Kukuma, grabbed him. And they burned together. And two of them. Let us grab him. It was partnership. 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 <laughs> no, let us grab him. Hold him. People did so much to self, to separate them. No, let him go. So it's common and it's sad. It's painful. We shouldn't get to that stage. Why? Why? A woman left your house and you now went and carried petrol to pour on her. Uh -uh. Why? What is uh, what is it? <laughs> oh. A sort of physical abuse is the most obvious form of domestic violence and is very lethargic. It is animalistic, it's uh, physically damaging, it's emotionally traumatized. It's, it's I don't understand. You get to that point, you go carry your shirt, you go walk around now. Is it ha? Ah, what is there? Bro, Diola, won't you carry your shirt down <laughs> and get out of the house? I should not carry somebody like Stephanie like this. I should not begin to deck her face. Once I deck her face, finish. Will I like what I, I, I will see? Then you will now come back and say, my dear. They are the tongue. They are finished. They are they they finished. Once you, you ah, they are finished. They are. <laughs> God do help also. Of course, we have seen different types of physical abuse. It could be slapping, kicking, ordinary shoving. Some is 
choking and just grab the person's neck. Of course, we found a lot that died like that. P- pinching. Find some women. You, 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 you now find the, the spot. The nail. No. Abba. Some force feeding. Hey. You cook this kind of food for me. This kind of food. Ah. I will show you today I'm the man. Sit down there. Oh, yeah. Eat. The, eat it. Eat it. You must finish it. Ah. <laughs> there was one that said the, the wife didn't brush her teeth. I was forcefully brushing the woman's teeth. Yeah. <laughs> You find some that will use cigarette lighter. No, burn. We find as terrible as pouring pepper into somebody's private part. But all sort of. When they say the woman is accused of uh, immorality, eh? Okay, show you, show you. Beating, strangling, all sort of. Now, the, the thing is, assault often starts small. Assault often starts small. And like I always tell people, you will have seen that trait. It's just that you are either careless, carefree. You know, careless is not the same thing as carefree. And that careless, carefree, That you didn't quickly say, ah, there is danger here. You have not married somebody. I was telling them in seminar one, one day. You are going out with your f- f- fiancé. And somebody talked to you anyhow. And the guy pushed it and beat that person because of you. <laughs> The beating that is waiting for you at home <laughs> is doing press up. That's not come. <laughs> Push it because of uh, you will now find some ladies who will even post it. Oh, he can do anything for me. Don't worry. We'll be here. You come and share this this story. Share the story. It all, it non, normally starts small. It starts small. No. Something as little as two of you are arguing, and before you know it, you get angry and just push you off. Uh, quickly call attention to it. When the thing calm down, bros. Quickly. We have seen something as little as that, as the lady was pushed. Just little shove. She just hit her head on the wall. That, that, that was all. That's all. And the painful part is that government will go will carry that person and go and judge accordingly. Nobody will mind that they have children. Now, small incident. Mother has gone. Father in jail, the children, what happened? Verbal abuse. This is a serious thing. It's not something to take lightly. This is a serious thing. Verbal abuse is often, you no, know, is using spoken and written words that damage or injure people's feelings when you talk down. Or you talk at someone. We're supposed to talk with somebody. Well, most of them just talk down at someone. You talk to that person as if the person doesn't exist. 
And before you know it, you erode the self-esteem of that person. And you fill that person with fear and uncertainty. If you are raised by people from uh, that our side. Our side. You must have a degree in uh, reinventing your self-esteem that was battered while growing up. Because if you were raised by those, our parents, <laughs> they will have eroded your self-esteem completely. Because how oh God have mercy. You know, in those days that uh, your parents come, you just hear pam pam. The first thing, everybody run away. Not like these ones that are. Children are to be seen, they are not to be heard. In our own days. You are now making ah. Everybody will run inside. Do you know that? It looks funny. I went to visit a friend in here, I think, year two or year three or so. Their dad came. And everybody ran inside, including the mother. Hey, <laughs> I was like, God, why have I come at this time? <laughs> everybody, including the mother, ran inside. <laughs> They were now looking for who to go and open the door. The mother. Ah. The mother was in the same category with the, with the children. They all ran to the children's room. They now left me visitor in the sitting room. And those things come from constant criticism. Learn to say thank you. Learn to appreciate people. Learn to love what somebody has done. Even if that person has not done it excellently well. There's always a starting point somewhere. Not like where we came from. Ha ha! She, 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 she ran out and said that taro no lili is it the kind of thing you people have been cooking since morning? Somebody who has been in the kitchen since trying to put something together. Just go back. Everybody That if it's taking you this long to prepare, when are we going to eat the food? Abba, you now batter the person, batter, and before you know it, the wife becomes a slave. And everybody in the house start calling you daddy, king of kings, lord of lord, <laughs> you know, ancient of days, the lion of the tribe of our house. All sort of name calling, all sort of threats. Any small thing. Ah, this is gone, 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 gone. If you know that you are not ready, you can pack your things and go back. And you feed the person with that as an abuse. You, 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 that when I married you, I could remember nobody in your family was able to bring a common goat. Don't <laughs> worry, those are our cameramen tomorrow. Don't worry. Yeah, I see using this day. Will you bring camera? <laughs> Amen. And you battered that person. You battered. Verbal abuse like threats to eat or kill the other. 
to leave, take the children away, or withdraw financial support will soon result in emotional trauma. And it could cause the other partner to live in fear. You have a couple of houses where if they want to get something from the lion of the tribe of our house. They have to look for somebody among the children who is the favorite to send to him. Go and tell daddy that uh, we need money for salt. Wash his face, so oh. wash and just tell him carefully. Oh. Because <laughs> if you don't, uh, <laughs> it could <laughs> still could come out. And, uh, and before you know it, everybody around you, you have emotionally abused them. Somebody. That person where he is. The same way the politicians have uh, psychologically abused. As a governor in the East, who was doing campaign, like, uh, don't worry about the people in the town. No, you go to the villages, you know the language, they understand. We give them money. On a campaign podium, a governor. <laughs> Who was saying, How do you? It is not. Somebody who is not honorable. You are now calling him honorable. His brain self who somebody who spent four years is doing nothing. You are calling him your exit. Ah. You see, but soon they need a good mic. Even who did the mic self, you know that he needs a good mic. The Bible condemns violence and uh, domestic abuse. We'll rush through some of these passages, lovely places. Let's share it. Somebody in that side, open, just open for us so that uh, as we are just here and there, let's see how many we can do. We are in Second Timothy chapter 2. I'm in verse 22, Second Timothy chapter 2. It says, flee also useful lots, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strife. Now, verse 24, where we are going, say, and the servant of the Lord must not strive. Don't, anything that will bring quarrel, that the Jews say, carry your shirt, to take a long stroke. Before you come back, your mind will have come down, or the mind of the person, and I know, and you can, uh, once you see issue is getting to the point where emotions are coming in, just take a long walk, just, uh, Take a long walk. You don't strive. Isaiah chapter 58. If you are there before me, you can read. Isaiah chapter 58. I'll read from verse 3. Okay, I'll read from here. Wherefore, if we fasted, say, day, and thou said not. Wherefore, have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge, but behold, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure and exact all your labors. Behold, you fast for strife. Some people fast for strife. You fast for strife. God will help us. Fast for strife. You don't need to. I will show them I'm the one that can. 
instance. We are not competing. No. Jeremiah chapter 22. Verse 3. Yes, ma. And do no wrong. Do no violence. The fatherless. Do no wrong. Do, do no wrong. You are in a m- marriage relationship. Let it sink into your head. Do no wrong. Don't oppress. No, no violence. So once something is coming to the point where you know violence will come, what should you do? Carry your shirt. Take your shirt. In fact, you don't need to wear the shirt at home. Just take the shirt and be wearing it as we are going. Because waiting to wear the shirt at home can waste time. You know, just carry the shirt and just walk away. Do no wrong. You know, that's why Paul says, as long as it's light on you, live peaceably with all men. That's huge. He's a stupid person as long as he light on you. Must you climb all mountain? No, now. You can go by the side. Or go, now go. If you want to drill all through it and it's been too hard, carry the ladder. If it's not beyond your strength, Jump. Let's just all go now. Go now. So as long as it light on you, live peace. So you must have that mind to so live peaceably. Tell me. She's a quarrelsome woman. And you be a quarrelless man. It's not a... Once she start quarrelsome, take your shirt. Go away. Because at the end of the day, who would they say kill someone? It's you. Who would the government hold? It's you. So, where are we? Malachi chapter 2. Do we have somebody there? Malachi chapter 2 from verse 15. It says. Yes. Yes. Godly seed. Take heed to Take heed. your spirit. Take heed. And let none deal treacherously. Treacherously against, against the wife against of the wife of the youth of Zim. I don't know. Amen. God bless you, ma. No. You know somehow. No. I don't know why for whatever reason. God didn't say, don't deal treacherously with the man of your youth or the husband of your youth. Who does he keep addressing? The man. You know why? He's the physical head of the house. The control of the house is in his hand. So the person who should have sense all the time is the man. They can't make you the end. It's like all these, uh, all these uh, ones who will come and you choose to accept the presidency of Nigeria. They are not coming back to tell me the problem is uh, plenty. Ebolo for policy, tell her. Didn't you do visibility study before you pick up the job? Should have. You don't. Bible himself said that uh, you don't pick up something you do not plan for. You want to build the, the house. What did he say you should do first? You can the cost. So that you won't get midway and you can't finish. And people are now laughing at you. Who are you telling the thing was too much? Who, 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 did I compel you? So the same thing. The man must have sense all the time. All the time. All the time. So they don't do it treacherously. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Psalm 11, verse verse 5. Psalm 11, verse 5. 
So God hates those who deal violently. He hates them. He hates. That one is a serious word, though. Psalm 11. Eh? A lot try the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violent, his soul hates. Ah. That's a huge one. That's a huge one. And that's why I always tell people, you know, I learned that thing from my mom. God bless her soul. She will tell you, Ko sing kon to kon eh, ni nun kon ti o kon eh. There is nothing that concerns you in what does not concern you. So once something doesn't concern you, what should you do? The way. If I tell you how many things I've heard that people said about me, and I will still see the same people, I will still laugh as if nothing happened. You know why? It doesn't concern me. If the thing is important, you bring it to my table. As long as you can't bring it to my table, it doesn't concern me. It's your business. I learned that growing up. Think on to coin, you know, your coin, just leave them. And that will give you a lot of peace of mind. Because the Bible says the soul of God. Ah, or Lagbara. His soul hate. You know how heavy the word hate is? That's a heavy word. Very heavy word. He didn't even put it mildly by saying God does not love. He said his soul hate. He must not be a wicked fellow. Don't uh, All this idea of, ah, I will show him that I am, ah. Zephaniah chapter 1. Zephaniah chapter 1. I, in the same day also, will I push all those that live on the trench road, which fill their master's house with violence and deceit. You know when he was governor? That was when? 1999. All the people who were governors with him that time, where are they? Where are they? All over the country, where are they? And every single person who had been governor in this country, most of them, to, be, to remain relevant, what do they do? They, they become senators. He has not picked up any of the apples. So, what is he doing that makes him to still be relevant? Raising people. That's all. Raising people. Raising people. I may not like his approach. I can learn something from him. He knew 34 years ago he wants to do this at a point in his life. And he knew he would need people. So he started raising people. All the other people were raising themselves. I told somebody one day, if you want to go fast, you can go alone. But if you want to go far, you have to go with people. If not, you can't go far. He knows that. And every young people should know that. What's the quality of the relationship you are keeping? Do they have value? The people you did primary school, secondary school, university. Do you, are you in contact with anybody again? Or as they are growing, you went away. As they are growing, you should be connected. 
you can't be so sure. Be consciously, consciously be creating a network of value around yourself. You need 10 million. You don't have 10 million. But you have 10 friends who can give you one, one, one million. You have 10 million. But you need 10 million. You don't have 10 million. And you don't have 10 friends who can give you 100,000. Okay. And they gave us requirement for leadership. Let's go there. Because the man in the house, we were told last week, is the leader, the natural leader of the house. This is a true thing. If a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good thing. A bishop then must be blameless. So bishop be blameless. The husband of one wife, bishop, husband of uh, one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, able to teach, not given to wine, not a striker, not people who look for trouble all the time, not greedy or feedy luck, patient, not a brawler, not covetous, one that ruled well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. Now, verse 6, he said, not a novice. The worst thing that can happen to anybody in life is to be a novice. We had one good man at one point who was a president, but he was a novice. So he was investing more time in wine than what he should invest time in. As good as he is, he was a novice. Now, once you are, oh, hey, that kind of thing, <laughs> a novice. Shouldn't be a novice. You may not like somebody like Obas Sonjo, but it's not a novice. One thing I've seen with that man, it's not a novice. Not a novice. Obas Sonjo's capacity is like this uh, Allah fear for your that just pass. If you have had the privilege to sit with that man, uh, encyclopedia of knowledge. They will tell you precisely what this, this, this. Don't be a novice. Don't, don't be a novice. Know a little about everything. Don't be a novice. It's risky. Once somebody is a novice, little success. Let's go after this. My bugan. <laughs> and you know what what happened? There will be no drive to achieve more. No drive. Lead to success, yeah. Okay. Word spoken can be a form of violence, so be careful. We have learned that. James 1 19 should be our watchword. Be swift to hear. Slow to speak, slow to rot. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. You didn't hear me. I heard uh, you were saying, hear very well. Because one thing I've learned in life is that by the time A brings a story, you're like, hey, how can he do that? And you jump at it. By the time you eventually hear the B part of the same story, you, you are like, like, seriously? So what should you do when you hear, hey, okay, I've heard, I've heard. So what are we going to do now? Mm, don't worry. When I'm done with the issue, I will let you know. Calm down, calm down. We saw your wife in an hotel with another man. They even show you video. Don't worry. Let her come. 
Let her come. Ah, what are you saying? Let her look at the picture where she was kissing the other man. I've seen it. First thing all the time is not to react. Is to what? Calm down. Okay, thank you for the information. Thank you. The first thing I am profi profiling at that point is, is that what is your interest in the issue at stake? Once you have an interest in the issue at stake, uh, uh, I'm already... Mm, Your neighbor's daughter, who is beautiful, who has not gotten married, is the one who brought the information that, that your wife uh, is in one hotel. Uh, okay. Okay. I've heard. I've heard. Thank you. Thank you. Calm down. Once somebody have interest, so calm down. You need to calm down very well. You will now find out from the other person. You now have to really calm down to hear well. Because at that time, you may not hear well. Calm down. God will help us in Jesus' name. Okay, before we conclude, I think we have a few minutes. Any question? Any, this one, no, no, no question. Any contribution? You better enjoy this period. Because small time now, this period, you won't find it again. Enjoy, enjoy it very well. No. You will forever be, be wishing, ah, I wish my baby is this small. Okay, any contribution? Not an initial contribution now. Ah, didn't you hear me? Praise the Lord. <laughs> well, there is nothing you have to push us to. We are the best. So, God has made us to be so. Everybody will listen to us. Even yesterday, uh, on Sunday, from Mount Camel. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, what I want to actually say is there was this man, was an occultic man, and uh, he went so deep in occultism before God redeemed him. And when he, now, when he began to uh, say some things. I begin now to see that marriage too is a spiritual thing that needs prayer. Yeah. You need to work to it's a it's a great work that one needs to keep on praying and praying. He said that uh, when he was still in his evil ways, that any marriage that they are doing, if he doesn't like the couples. There are some things that he will do. And he said, if he still love, even as he wants them to be separated, if he still love them, he will just carry a baby and put their back. He said that one, he loves them very well. But if he doesn't love them, he could put knife in, in between the them. Death. And that is dangerous. You know, when he was seeing it then, well, well, it doesn't make meaning to me because I was, you no. Know, but you know, I begin, I begin now to see that most of these things that are even happening, it's, it's more than what it missed eyes. Yeah. So we, as we are preparing, also we should also not leave the prayer aspect. That's why it says, watch and pray. He said, the devil is what. Like a riding a wounded lion, seeking, seeking for who to, you know this aspect. Divorce. God will help us. Amen. I had a friend then. He was a prophet in celestial ch 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 church. When so little together, was a doing 
was doing well was oh God pray pray all the time pray about everything and anything pray but once something start doing start praying start praying before before you start doing start praying once they bring somebody that uh, we have seen cases where you know, I, I'm his friends who I'm always in his house. There is not he, he was it was a a room and parlor. It was the parlor. But there anybody comes, there is no secret. So you open your case. If you can't open your case, he will tell you this one is my friend. Says, okay, okay, go on. Can I have the picture of the, the two? And they will invoke the pictures into either two candles or two baby and put their back to each other. Or if it's serious matter, they put knife in between the two baby on their back to each other and tie it. If God does not have mercy on you to get that thing on, on, on tight, they will quarrel. They separate. In fact, they will kill themselves. It's serious. So pray. So marriage to us is physical, but you should know that life is essentially spiritual. You know, everything that you see happening in life is a manifestation of what are taking place in the spiritual realm. So always settle your issues in the spiritual realm. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Yesterday I was with my niece and she was asking a lot of questions. I thought she went for a seminar. She's about 27 year old lady. So she went for some, you know, Christian. She used to go for so all this marriage, marriage seminar. She went for one and the teaching they taught them. She was asking a lot of questions and I got scared. You know, if they can be teaching such things. Those kind of things. Yes, those kind of teaching. I just want to advise that we should be careful. You be careful. For what? Careful. We. Mommy, please. Be careful. Especially those who go to all this. Uh, or, or, okay. Be careful. I've, uh, I've gone to one or two places. Be very careful. You go to some of these so-called prayer mountain. You will find people bring picture of somebody that they want to marry by force. And they will join them. Join them. They can break... Oh, God. They will bring somebody and they say, eh, this one is with this one. As in, separate these two. Then so that... Eh, mo fe ki o ko fe le, eh, ya won, a won le. And you see them pray, no pray. Do some things and start praying. Some some funny prayers. You know, this uh, seminar that I and upcoming young youths are. You know, it's not. You know, the kind of say, but the kind of teaching they taught them. I have to try to reorientate her understanding. And one thing I told her. That the Bible is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And forever. It does not change. If there's anything like you say, say, don't be a novice. Ah, no, ah, no. Don't be a novice. Study the word. Study the Bible. Don't let anybody call black white or for you. white and black and call it gray. If it's true, it's true. If it's lie, it's lie. There's no gray. Side. Agree, no because it was, she was telling me something that got me scared and said, the man taught them that when God that God hates um, a divorce. Yes, God said putting away. I said, that is very true. And said so he gave them Bible. Yeah, I said, that is very true. He said, but the, the put away that God was talking about is that those that have the love of God, that means when you are marrying, is the love of God. You love God, and then before you love the woman, before you love the man. I say, ha. 
Where is that in the Bible? Ah, I say, ah, sister, me choose us some Bible. I say, please see your scripture. This Bible has not changed for over <laughs> how many thousand, thousands of years that has been written. You have not heard that uh, God, what God says is putting away. So you are no longer interested. Don't put away. Keep her there and uh, take her So down. please. As, as long as, as you did uh, not yes, put away. Yes, please. Don't leave your Bible always and then pray. Pray and watch, please. Amen. I beg you, a lot of teachings are outside there. Amen. God help us. Yes, sir. There is somebody here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, sir, first of all, I want to say thank you for today's uh, teaching. Uh, because of our time, I'll quickly round up all I want to say. First, like what she said, we should be very careful on people we meet. Why? The Bible already said that we have so many people out there who claims they are sons of God. They will preach and twist the Bible upside down by, you know, turning the brains of many people. So that's why we need to be careful. Two, um, based on um, the story of how they turn people back to divert back, I could remember really where I was staying before in Ojudu. My former neighbor, they just newly married, I was very brief, and they have two kids. They really love themselves so much. One fateful day, even to the extent, compound people were very envious of them. But one fateful day, this man is a Okada rider. He went out to do his normal daily activities. Then the wife was cleaning the house. The house is, uh, her building is just beside the fence to the next building. While cleaning, she saw a, a what do you call it, a script, a, a kind of a sculpture or something, but packing each other. So she picked it and called my sister, Joy. Oh, she called someone, not my sister. And the person like, ah, eh, kill off. Just threw it away. Lo and behold, the following week, it was Basbos. Before we say Jack Robinson, they are separated. Now, to round up what I want to say, you also said something about um, Fashola when you went to where yeah, the erosion. It's just similar to this same when, uh, what's his name, Okurocha. It is true. Nemesis will come back at you. It will definitely come back. In your own room. Ah, what are we saying? So let me end this. Amen. We've seen somebody who couples who slept and the wife woke up in the middle of the night and she was like, What am I doing here? They've been married for years with kids. How did I get here? You see, uh, in those days when uh, Pentecostalism was still very real, you can't run Christian race alone. We, then they talk about prayer partners. Somebody of your you know, kind. Not somebody that will be envious or jealous or will go and do you bad at the back. People have prayer partner. Apart from praying together, they help one another to watch over one another. So that when your prayer partner is running into trouble, you know, because you find all these funny, funny people who takes people's picture or clothing material to some funny ways, and the person just can say, ah, is that brother or that sister who want to marry? And you, you now begin to wonder, ah, this sister, what suddenly happened to her? How can she... But for somebody who, 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 who is alone, no prayer partner, nobody may know. She just woke up. Somebody who has been married for years with children. How did I get here? Where he says X, Y, Z, the person she was supposed to marry, who had gone for years, <laughs> is now remembering and he now saw the, who are you? What are you doing by my side? They scattered though. They scattered. So a lot happened. A lot. A lot. A lot. 
Not even these days of uh, Kayamata everywhere that they will sell it. I, I don't. You must be prayerful. So, my advice anytime you see something, uh, raise prayer altar. You can't be. Don't take anything on the face value. It's risky. God will help us in Jesus' name. He said, in conclusion, abuse in its different manifestation is the most destructive tool that can be used by anyone against another person. Most sadly, all these types of abuses deeply scar the emotions of a person and usually greatly alter their perception and their ability to live life to the fullest. However, there is hope in Jesus. He has come to heal the broken hearted. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Psalm 72 verse 14 says, He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence. And precious shall their blood be in his sight. Shall we bother our head as we talk to God? God, please help me. Help me on our side, Lord. Help me on our side. Marriage is an assignment. Help me on our side not to fail you. Help me on all sides not to fail you. And where I've been failing, Lord, bring healing. Bring healing, Lord. Bring healing. Help our land, help our nature, help the church of God. Bring healing, bring healing, bring healing. We will not fail, we will not falter. Help us, Lord, help us. Commit your home, the one you have or the ones you are looking forward to have into the hand of God. Help us not to fail, Lord. Help us not to fail. Thank you, Lord. I pray for every home where there is abuse, that the Lord will pour oil of gladness. Every home where there is abuse in any form, that God will pour oil of gladness. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we bless your name. Thank you for your word, Lord. Let your word bring healing into our lives and into our homes. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. On Thursday we should not forget uh, it's time for prayer. It's 6.30. We've gone a bit far. God will help this our Bible study in Jesus' name. But that does not become another church service. <laughs> Amen. Thursday is 6.30. We should not forget we have a prayer and fasting. Please join the prayer. I think two days is gone. Now, just eight more days. Please join. Pray for yourself. Pray for the Nigeria. Pray for mercy. God should have mercy. The major prayer we need now is God, please have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. It's not anybody who can do any. Nothing anybody can do. It's just the mercy of God. And God will help us in Jesus' name. I think on Sundays, our services, two services, first service by 7.30, second service is uh, 9.30. I think it's a royal family day. God will help us in Jesus' name. We'll see... God will help them on Sunday in Jesus' name. God will help them in Jesus' name. Brother, you are not saying the name. Okay, you said the word. Shall we package our offering? Let's speak to our offering. Immediately after we share the grace, we can drop our offering in the offering basket. Shall we rise up as we begin to appreciate God? <laughs> as we begin to appreciate God for what he has done. Lord, we bless your name. Thank you for today. As we go, we, you go with us. Let grace and strength be multiplied unto us. We will not become a sacrifice on the altar of this country. You will keep us. You will keep our home. You will keep our land. You will keep our loved ones from all evils. You hide us under the shadow of the Almighty. Your name alone will be glorified in our lives. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. How we share the grace together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the Holy Spirit, forevermore.
Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.